So 23 games in four seasons and the battle continues for Anthony Morabito, but he is once again on the comeback trail. I sort of had a fair idea what had happened. Terrible news for Fremantle young gun Anthony Morabito after injuring his knee at training today. There are fears he needs a third knee reconstruction. Disappointed in the fact that I'd put so much time and effort into, into getting it right and I'd ticked every box and I was, yeah, feeling really good. Morabito has opted for the radical Lars surgery, the same procedure used by Swans Premiership hero Nick Malczewski. Yeah, well, Nick's obviously been a very good resource and he's a lovely guy and keeps in contact quite regularly just to check up on how I'm going, which is comforting to know it's just not, there's a surgery, this is what happened for me, good luck, all the best. Fortunately, I was actually able to get the phone calls off Nick and off Dan and David Roden at the right time and when you hear of guys like that, it just lifts your spirits. It's been somewhere that I've spent a lot of time thinking about getting back out there. I'm quite confident and very happy with the work I've done today and just, yeah, looking forward to getting out there with my teammates and getting back into it. For me, it's always been that ability to have to prepare on a Friday night and getting the goosebumps on the Friday night, not being able to sleep before you play. And that's what I've missed. To get any opportunity to play AFL, you'd, you'd take it. And if I didn't have a crack and put my best foot forward, it would be a disservice to myself. We're up to week 15 now. We're sort of taking a cautious approach, hitting milestones, and we haven't really had any hiccups touch wood. And yeah, obviously the next couple of weeks is when we're looking on schedule to graduate into football. And it's not all do doom and gloom, I think. There's a silver lining that you, you do learn a lot about yourself and actually quite grateful that I've matured a lot and trained a lot harder than I would have when I was playing. Sometimes can fall in the trap of taking footy for granted and I now fully appreciate what it takes to play AFL. It's sad, isn't it? You know, that just, you, when you have a long career and you stay uninjured, but uh, when the knee problems hit yeah. different players, it's just so sad. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I was talking about before uh, the luck and associated yeah. durability that I've had in my career, and you talk about a guy who's been through hell and back, um, football hell, uh, it's all relative, yeah, sure, but, sure. Um, yeah. you know, to see him coming out of it the way he has, has matured so much as a person, the club bandy around uh, an individual like that, you know, the, the, sport, the support and respect, and it's the whole industry, but particularly the footy club, has been tremendous, and well, we can't wait for Anthony to get out there, and, and he's almost about, I think we're pretty much expecting him to be out there training with us this week, full training, so I mean, it's terrific news.